Hey, it's me again. We're almost to the end of brewing day. You've been boiling your beer for a couple of hours, adding hops when appropriate, and now the boil is done. Turn off the heat, and it's time to cool off your wort. You can do this in a bathtub or other big vat of water uh, by letting the water in that dissipate the heat, but it takes a while. A much better way to do it is using a wart cooler. This is a wart cooler that I've made, and it's just a coil of copper tubing with a couple of lengths of hose on the end of it. One of those ends has a fitting to fit onto your garden hose. You'll place the cooler into your kettle, like so. Turn your garden hose on very slowly. You don't need much flow coming out. And what you'll find is that the water coming out of this overflow hose is quite hot. It's uh, radiating, it's absorbing all the heat into the water and radiating it out. Your recipe will tell you what temperature you want your wort at before you add your yeast. So use this same thermometer and keep careful track. You don't want to cool it off too much, and if you don't cool it off enough, it'll kill the yeast. Once you're at that temperature, you're going, to con you're going to transfer your wort into your primary fermenter. That's the food grade bucket with a spigot on the bottom and a tight fitting lid. So we'll pour that in and then we'll pitch the yeast. And pitching the yeast is just jargon for adding the yeast. So add the yeast into your wort, stir it almost violently, but quite significantly. You want it to foam up when you're stirring it. This is the last time that you want to add oxygen into the mix, but at this point you do want to add a good bit of oxygen. So, after you've stirred your yeast in, after you've pitched your yeast, it's time to seal this baby. A lid like this came with your bucket. It has a, a, ga a hole with a gasket in the top of it and a good seal on the bottom. Place this on top, go around several times, pushing down to make sure it's well sealed. We have this hole in the top, oxygen can get in. Don't like that. So instead what we're gonna do is we're going to put an airlock into the whole contraption. You'll take this part of the airlock, you'll add water to about that level, and then all of the airlocks come with a cap like this that you'll drop in. Now, CO2 can get out, but oxygen can't get in. And your airlock will also come with a little lid like so. Place the airlock into the hole in the top. Set your bucket into a, a warm place, depending on what the recipe says. It may be 70 or 80, or it may be a bit cooler at 50 or 60. And you'll leave it there for a week. So that's it for brewing day. You're all done. The next step will be transferring your beer from your primary fermenter to your secondary fermenter, and then a bit later, bottling. See you then.